Global shares are up again after Russia's President Vladimir Putin ordered his troops to pull back from Crimea. Malu Francisco reports from Europe. Global markets are making a comeback today. World shares and hard-hit Russian assets rebound after President Putin of Russia ordered troops in military exercises to return to base. It was seen as a dampening down of immediate tensions in the East-West crisis over Ukraine. After a hard landing on Monday, European share markets attempted a modest takeoff again as these traders in Frankfurt. There were broad gains when the DAX opened and London's FTSE Euro First added over a percent in early trade. Even Russia's main stock index regained four of the 10 percent it lost the day before, helped in part by President Putin's pledge to return some troops to barracks. Patrick Armstrong of Armstrong Investments, however, wasn't convinced. If there, were, if there was further evidence that the, the conflicts between Ukraine and Russia were uh, broadening beyond the Crimean Peninsula, I think the markets would be very, very concerned. The, the likely outcome is uh, Russia won't back down and there'll probably have to be sanctions of some sort put on them and that's going to push energy prices higher. Economic growth in Europe is almost non-existent and the higher energy prices and sanctions on Russia I think could just choke that off. $60 billion was wiped off the value of Russian firms on Monday. Some of that value has been restored, but for now, the market comeback would appear to be what traders call a technical rebound only. At the same time, the European Central Bank President Mario Draghi called for vigilance over the crisis in Ukraine. Speaking at the European Parliament Committee on Economic and Monetary Affairs, Draghi said the immediate economic impact of the tensions on the Eurozone was likely to be low, but he warned the conflict might still have consequences and he urged caution. And the geopolitical dimensions of this uh, situation could have themselves a strength uh, and a capacity of uh, uh, affect events that may go beyond the actual links, the statistical numbers that uh, I've just given to you a moment ago. So I think we should, uh, uh, we should watch this situation uh, with, uh, with, with great uh, attention. Russia is also Europe's biggest gas supplier, and much of it is pumped through Ukraine. So investors are also watching oil and gas prices very closely. Ukraine is also called the breadbasket of Europe. Ukraine is in the top five global grain exporters. Global wheat and corn futures surged on Monday, despite promises from Ukraine's agricultural minister that political turmoil will not reduce the spring grain sowing. Reporting from the Netherlands, Marilu Francisco for the Eagle News Service. Okay, thank you very much, Malu Francisco, reporting from the Netherlands.